Hey guys, as promised, I thought I'd do a little bit of a review on some of the measuring tools and some of the tooling that I got from China when I put a big order in. Just to give you a bit of history, I've always used the manual, the manual uh, type of micrometers here, uh, and I've got some really nice ones. This is a Tessa. This is a, a Swedish one, so, uh, not Swedish, sorry, um, a Swiss one, and this is a really, really nice little micrometer here, but. As uh, my eyesight is starting to get a little bit dodgy these days, and I'm getting a little bit pressed for time, you know, I wanted something that'd be a little bit faster. Uh, I also have a, a Mauser, which is a, a very nice one here as well, and and these have worked really nicely. You know, they've got the carbide anvils on them here, so that you're not going to wear these out in your lifetime if you're very very careful with them. But uh, as I said, you know, I wanted something that was a little bit easier, a little bit faster to use. So I took a chance on on some of these digital ones from China. So I got I got these ones here from China, and they're a company called Lynx. And from what I understand, I, I have have a Chinese business partner, and he said that Lynx is the company that provides a lot of the measuring tools to the Chinese military. So it has nice big digits there. It also has an output here, digital output that you can plug in and you can save the information as well that, that you're collecting. So I'm, I'm guessing this would probably be inter interesting for people who are doing any kind of QC work that they want to you know, keep a record of everything that they're, that they're doing. Uh, as fairly standard for, an, I think this one's IP65 rated. So it's fairly standard. You have the clutch here on this barrel and then this is the part of the, um, of the barrel that doesn't have a clutch. What I would have liked to have seen is I would have liked to have seen a metal locking lever here because this plastic one, I just don't know how long that's going to last before it falls to pieces. But you also have the units here so you can change between you can change between metric and imperial if you're that way inclined. And you also have your ABS setting here, your absolute uh, measurement as well. So that, that's quite handy. So anyway, what I might do is uh, I might just have a play with this. The, the build quality looks really nice on this, actually. Uh, it surprised me. It was $50 US, so it, it wasn't cheap by Chinese standards. And this is one of the things that I want to tell you guys. If you're looking at getting stuff from China, don't, don't pay peanuts and then expect to get a top quality product. I mean, this is kind of the average price of something that you'd buy in China. You know, it's, it's about half to a third of what you would buy in the West for a product. But that's about as low as you want to go. You can even get more expensive ones than this. But this is starting to get to the top tier kind of measuring tools in China. And if you spend that little bit extra, you're going to get a much, much better product. So what we'll do is I'll get out my I'll get out my gauge blocks and then we'll see what the repeatability on this thing is like. So I'll just pop it up and we'll also zoom in so that you can see the see the reading a bit easier. But we'll have a play with the gauge blocks, so just stay tuned. So here we have a set of gauge blocks that are from the 60s and they're Swedish made, they're CEJ. So this was a fairly well known company in Sweden. So first thing I'll do is I'll just zero this out and then we'll see if, if we can get decent reading. There we go, so that's zeroed. I know that the jaws on this are fairly clean but what I'll do is I'll just give them another another wipe down just with that window washing liquid that I've used in previous video and see if we can get that to repeat. The problem that I've found is when a lot of people are zeroing these things out there's always a little bit of crud that's that's stuck in the uh, in the anvil there. So we'll just give this a, a nice little bit of clean with this window washing liquid just to get rid of any schmoo that might be stuck in there. And what we'll then do is we'll take, let's say, a 6mm gauge block and we'll clean any oil off that. You know, ceramic gauge blocks are nice because you don't have to oil them up every time you put them back, but um, if you want really accurate ones, you're going to pay a lot of money. So for these ones here, I've got these cheap because they were old and used. Now a business that was, was just going bankrupt, so I managed to pick them up quite cheap. So what we'll do, let's return this back to zero and I'll just zoom in here just a little bit to give you guys a little bit more of an idea what's going on. So let's see if this returns to zero. So the clutch. There we 
go. So it's returned to zero there nicely. So let's see. Let's see if we can get six mil, six mil reading on this. Now if I was being really pedantic, which I guess I will, so that's so we don't get any thermal transfer onto this gauge block. Oh, just barely hanging on. Last thing I want to do is drop this. So let me just grab the gauge block with a bit of paper, put it in, and let's see what we get. Six point zero zero three of a millimeter. Let's try that again. Six point zero zero one. Might be a bit of schmoo on this gauge block. Let's try it again. 6.002. 6.001. So these are fairly accurate gauge blocks. Let's try it in the middle. Let's get a bit of a general reading on this thing. 6.000. So I mean, for 50 bucks, I don't really know what you could expect. I don't think you could expect any better than what this is. Of course, I haven't tested the IP54 rating on this, um, short of dropping it in a bucket of water. I'm not really sure how to do that, and I'm not really keen to to do that. But um, so far, they check out. They seem to be quite good. And I, I bought the 0 to 25 mil, and then I also bought the 25 to 50 mil. Let me see if this is the one here. So I also bought the 0 to, to 50 mil. I'll just zoom out. So I bought its big brother here. And these all came with test certificates, but you know, you're buying something from China. I don't know if you can really trust the test certificate to be honest, but um, they all came with test certificates and they were checked for quality and everything like that. But you know, China make knockoff Rolexes and Amigas and everything like that. I don't know how much time and effort they're going to put into an actual test certificate but like I said the build quality on these is pretty spectacular um, they seem to turn off when you turn them off which which I know is a bit of an issue with a lot of these cheaper ones when you turn them off they're still going to draw a little bit uh, on the battery just to, to keep the zero uh, but these ones seem to actually turn off and, and I've had them for several weeks now with batteries in them and they seem to be working just fine they haven't run flat so overall guys if you want to give these a try the brand is Lynx, and this one here costs a little bit more than the small one. I think this one here was like uh, sixty dollars, and and the small one, the zero to twenty five, was about fifty dollars. And so far, I'm really happy with them. And you know, I'm I'm not comparing cheap Chinese crap to okay Chinese crap. I'm actually comparing, you know, European made units like this to average price or above average price Chinese equipment and so far you know I'm not uh, I'm not disappointed and I, I think that these work quite well so you know I hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you have any questions just post them down in the comments and I'll try to get around to responding to them as soon as I can all right enjoy your time in the shop